Do I look like a, a rock and roller here? Definitely you not. Know? Do I look like a rock and roller? You're doing pretty good. No, we're gonna make something. Um, okay, we're gonna make something up. Right, you want a blues? You want you want Yeah, we gotta go bluesy. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna get that soulful kind of guy. You know. All I do is carpool. Yeah. Ooh. And ain't no fun. Yeah. yeah. Kendall and Kylie in the back seat asking questions. <laughs> Time to carpool again. Cause they gotta come home. Yeah, there we go, there we go. And they gotta go to school. That's right. They're done with school. Now it's time for some homework. Woo! Yeah. But unfortunately, Kendall's in sixth grade, <laughs> and she's already passed me up. Yeah. I'm lost. <laughs> once, she got, once she got past fifth grade, yeah, once she got past grade, I was lost. She's teaching you. She's yeah. teaching me now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was great. I yeah, props for me. I'll tell That's you what. That's right. Props it was for a, me. Was <laughs> absolutely. I had a good, uh, good guitarist. You know. Hey guys, welcome to my last diary cam. Um, so Bruce put a, together an amazing romantical weekend with my mom. So I got a chef coming to cook. I got, oh my God, yeah. I knew you had these skills. I know, I have tremendous skills. Bruce always does really nice things for my mom. He, you know, always comes through. Is there anything I'm missing? I think you're good. All right, I'm gonna get her nude and chase her around the house. They got married after three months. Um, so I'm sure he was, you know, pretty romantical from the beginning. All right, the chef is here. When we're done with dinner, get out of the house. He's always really good, always been a good guy. I've always loved him. I've known him uh, since I was two. He took in all his kids. Him and my mom were definite instant classic. Baby, I love you no matter how old you get. Mm -hmm, thank you. Mm -hmm. I know you would. Honey, you're wearing a moose on your shirt for E! Online? No, no, no. That's dorky. Come on, go change. It's E! Online. Oh, honey, so much better. E! Moose. Online will be happy. Man, the moose is gone. You're ready, ready to share your advice with the public uh, now? Okay. I've never been more ready. Hi, Bruce and Chris. I just found out my son's girlfriend is cheating on him. Do I tell him? Absolutely. Absolutely <laughs> yeah. tell him. In this family, yeah. I would suggest telling him because it's hard to do. I, I kind of came up against that situation recently. And um, you did? I told my daughter. Are you with, cheating on me? Is that what you're saying? No, with Courtney and Scott. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I would tell him. Yeah. I, I think go. it's better. Who wouldn't want to know? It's always bad to be the messenger when you have to tell somebody that someone's cheating. Courtney is so mad at me. Honesty is always the best policy. Okay, what's next? Hi, Bruce and Chris. My child just became old enough to drink, but I think she's drinking too much. How do I get her to stop? Ooh, that's a tough one. All right. Well, if they're 21 years old, then it's really hard to give great advice as a parent and make sure that they take your great advice as a child because... But number one. You know, set uh, a good example for the kids. Uh, don't have a lot of drinking going on, first of all, in the house right. in the first well, place. you got to set a good example as a parent. Probably they're drinking with their friends, so the only thing you can really do is really kind of beat that message into their brain. No, no more liquor for Chloe. You know, don't drink too much and try and give them some of the reasons why. Okay, this is fun. I love it. Let's okay. do more. All right. My kid is a cheeky little monkey. How do I get her to show me more respect? Well, with ten kids under our belt, we have a few cheeky little monkeys ourselves. Right? Yes. Teach your child that, you know, don't talk back to me. Don't, you know, act disrespectful. And I think that there's consequences when your child misbehaves like that. And when you don't reward them when they behave like that with a lot of extra things and extra time, they'll learn pretty quickly how to behave. Take things away from them every time they, you know, don't behave properly. Kendall, sit down! He's tough. Well, that's that. Time to get out of bed and deal with our own family. Let's do it, huh? All right, come on. Are you guys finished? No, text. Why? Why do you get so excited when somebody, like, texts you and you hit that little diddy? Uh, 
It's just like the sound like it gets you really excited. Well, for me, Why? Why do you mean it gets you excited? Does it get you excited? Nothing gets you excited. Nope. I guess Kim's not coming. She's not even answering her phone. Let me call Chloe. May she I be excused? No. Kylie, you didn't even touch your plate. Okay. And get off the whole computer thing, whatever the hell you call that thing. I mean, we can't wait for these other kids forever. Let me call Courtney and see if she's running. Hello? Hey, Court. Hey, Mom. Are you going to come over and have dinner with us? Um, no thanks. Why? All right. Do you guys want to come over for dinner tomorrow? Three meal. What? I feel like you only know how to make three meals, and you've made them since I was born. Yeah, spaghetti is one of those meals. What spaghetti? Yeah. I told you how I made picket signs when I was little and picketed all around the house. Don't ever make spaghetti again, or I won't eat dinner. And then remember, I made a deal, and we watched City Slickers. Oh no! I don't want to hear. Okay, goodbye, Courtney. We don't need to hear all of this. I didn't lock you in your room. You locked her in her room? Yeah, goodbye. Bye, freak. Whoa. Perfume? <laughs> this is ridiculous. Out of this big house, I've been confined to this small little place in the garage. And now she's putting her stuff in there? Honey! Where's mom? She just left. She just left? Yeah. I come back into the house, and the snake, Chris, has snuck out. She's afraid to confront me. <laughs> what are you doing? Cleaning my helicopter off. Why are you in here cleaning it? Mom uh, kicked me out of the garage. So, I gotta clean this thing. That's not fair. That's like your space, your little cave. Yeah. So why don't we like take over some of her space? This could be good. If I can't put it in the garage, all my stuff, maybe I should just scatter it around the house. <laughs> Let's go do it. I like that idea. Just leave that one right there. She'll love it there. OK. Chris absolutely loves her office. And uh, I think it's time to take it over. I'm going to use this as my new garage. We should leave it with just my stuff in here. Perfect. When Chris comes home, <laughs> Look out. Yeah, I know, we're just going to dump the golf balls out. Excellent idea. Son of a bitch. Bruce! You put a motorcycle in my house? Bruce! She's here. She's here. Chloe? Hi, Brucey. When did you get home, my baby? Here I am in your house. Mm. What are you unpacking or yeah. repacking? No, I'm kind of doing a little of both. How do you like staying at Casa de Odom? <laughs> Casa de Odom is, uh, actually it's been very quiet, kind of nice. It's nice. Yeah, it's really nice over here, I like it. I'm going now to do um, Kimmel, and then I'm gonna go to dinner at Mom's. Are you going? Probably not. Bruce, why aren't you going to dinner at Mom's? Uh, it's the whole nobody... family's gone. Well, I know, but I've been here, what, a day, two days now? I can't even remember. It's been a long time. You just love it here? Yeah, and, uh, Nobody's called, nobody really. To be honest with you, nobody really cares if I'm there or not. And, That's and not it's... true though, because I care. I well, you care. care, okay? I will give you, you care. But, but I want you to come and I'm going back and forth to Dallas and it's like, I would like for you to come and you should say, like, you guys, like, I've been gone for two days and no one's even called to check on me. No one's noticed, like, it hurts my feelings. Like, you should articulate and voice, like, when something bothers you. I've tried that. And uh, usually nobody listens, or mom really doesn't care. And she's so busy doing her thing. And you know, mom's got the big ego. And I'm fine. No, but you're not fine. Like, you don't want to live your life alone. And when Lamar and I come, 
back here you're just gonna get still, like you're gonna live here forever you're gonna be the new rob no no i'll go back eventually I but when mean, it's time right but like when lamar and i like i always say communication is key like without communication it's like what do you have okay i gotta go to kimmel and then i'll see you at dinner promise i'll promise to okay. think about it okay. yeah so who are we playing with lisa and liz what inspired you to do this all of a sudden, tennis. I don't know. I just felt like I don't get out and do anything. I live in my office. What is that doing? Ugh. What? Oh, and this guy's going like a million miles an hour. Who? That guy. Ugh, this guy is like driving on the wrong side of the road. What guy? That guy. It's oh, crazy. Is it? Yeah, he is. He's over there going through the bump. He wasn't even he was on his okay, side. Okay, well, yeah, he was kind of on my side You're of the road. God, I cannot drive with you. So freaking slow that, I mean, we'll be home in about three hours. Honey, just chill out. I can't God. chill out. When somebody's like driving irresponsibly, I can't chill out. Honey, they weren't irresponsible. They were fine. They weren't fine. Hey, Brucey. Hey, babe. Hi. Are you moving? We're moving in. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Oh, good, how are you? <laughs> I knew you were probably hungry. You've been working so hard. To oh, get your thank salad. you. That's nice of you. I know. I know. You're the only one who had all these boxes to move and didn't call me to help with the boxes. No. I mean, we're fine. We're we're just kind of like kind of do it all on your own. I do everything, like, well, with Sid and I. Now, did you get your cars yet? Yeah. Because I know you borrowed our cars. Yeah, they're dropping it off on Friday. Now, Mom just got the new one, still has this one, but got a Does new one. Does it drive better? She hasn't let me drive oh, it yet. Oh, you're not allowed to drive it? No, not allowed what to drive What a crappy it. life you live. I know. Do you even know you've had these? No, I don't like burgundy corduroy. So why do you have them? I don't know. Like Why don't you ever in. go through your closet? These are me, man. These are seventies. No, yeah, they These are seventies. They are the seventies. What do you think? You could hem them if you want them. I'm not into burgundy corduroy. Burgundy if Lamar's corduroy. not into it, I'm not into we it either. We don't do burgundy oh. corduroy. Yeah, like that's not hot. I remember when I was in college, in the late sixties, bell bottoms were in. Yes. And I remember I got my first pair of bell bottoms. I thought I was so cool. You probably were. Yeah. Yeah. In Lamoni, Iowa, I had bell bottoms. Okay. Kind of scary. Eat your salad. You need the energy. I'm. Uh, I'm gonna go back to the other house. Do you want these corduroy pants? No. I know you want them. Burgundy corduroys. I could see it all over your face. Uh, summertime. I don't need it. Love you. Love you. Thanks for the salad. Bye. Hey. Hey, I made it. Sorry, I'm a little late, but I uh, actually went to see that sleep doctor. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, good. What did he say? It's common for this to happen, you know, especially as you get a little bit older. And he said there's really not much he can do unless I go to one of those, like, sleep clinics. What exactly do they do at the sleep clinic thing? You go there. You've got to show up at 8.30. And uh, they put you in a room all by your little lonesome. They videotape it. They hook wires up all around you. I don't know how you can sleep with all the damn wires. I'll have a hard time with that. And then they monitor you all night long. You know, it seems kind of ridiculous to me. But, you know, I've been working so hard on this relationship with Chris. That I don't know. What do you think? Absolutely, you should. 100%. Even if it's just for her, you should do it. Honestly. Well, Chris and the girls are going to San Diego. Soon. MJ. Soon? Soon, yeah. Maybe I can schedule it around them going down there. It's one night. It's not like you're getting a great night's sleep anyway at home. Might as well try it. Yeah. All right, I'll do it. I'm excited. You got to show me the tapes. That'd be interesting. Yeah. I've never seen myself sleeping. That'd be no, kind yeah. of fun. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay. I'll be right back. Before he comes back, I just want to tell you I want to have this cooking class so we can learn how to cook some things for himself. Mom, I'm just worried about him. Today, I have a backup plan. Instead of inviting one child, I'm inviting the whole family so that if somebody storms off, I have extras to take over. Kim, you look this like is, such a lady today. Like a really? I was trying to be a whore. Situation. Why are we having a, like a sit-down dinner? Because guess Feel what? It's a cooking class. You're going to love it. A My cooking class? Yeah. Honey, this is why I had all these girls, so I didn't have to cook. Oh, Hello. Hi, everybody. My name is Paulette Lambert, and I am your chef this afternoon, and I'm also your nutritionist. Oh, good. So everybody ready to cook? I should probably be on the golf course, but let's cook. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. We're let's ready. We this. came ready. Oh, look at I've this. I've been wanting to do this for so long. Kind of think about what you'd like to do, and we'll get started. I'll make the soup. Um, Bruce, do you want to make a fish? I can do this fish. I'll make yeah. the spinach. Is this the baking dish? That is the baking dish. Kim, you're looking very oh. domestic. I am getting married. I got to figure it out. Yeah. You can just kind of pile it in and start flipping it over when it starts to wilt a little bit. Okay. And now put it all in here. Do you know what you're doing, Bruce? It says there's okay. some. Oh, preheat the oven. So uh, okay. we had to preheat I think the, the oven and preheated. a grill. I can... And then we're going to dip each piece of bok choy in the I marinade. It. I got it. Place on the Honey, grill. I got it. Is that enough um, marinade in there? Mm hmm. For the bok choy? I, I got it. Okay, just checking. You want to put a pot holder underneath that for me? That's beautiful. Dinner is ready. Ooh. Fancy. Okay. Let's open up a restaurant, guys. I'll have him. We're so good at this. Your fish is good, Bruce. It is good, isn't it? Good. I'm really proud of us, guys. Me too. Me too. You guys. Who made the cod? Bruce? What is it? A hair. And that is like your Chloe. type of hair. I made a fish, but I think we made a different one. Bruce, maybe if you'd cut your hair, this wouldn't have happened. Uh, awkward. All right, let's go. Thank you so much. Okay. Well, that was good. Yeah. Really I would good. have to say one of the reasons why I enjoy living out in Malibu and being at a park it's because you have a tendency to be very kind of controlling. Mm -hmm. And I just want you to know that I don't need that in my life. I, I'm, I'm just fine on my own. And I kind of see what you're doing here. What you're, am I doing here? You're worried about me, but honestly, I'm fine. Of course I'm worried about you. When we meet, when I was 40 years old, for the first 40 years, I did a lot. I'm a caretaker. I want to take care of him, and I always will. But sometimes my intentions come across maybe a little too strong, especially now that Bruce and I are living together. So it just might be better to let him fend for himself. Well, you're a but good sport for showing up. So thank you for that. Honey, we probably should order. We'll wait a few more minutes. We'll wait, yes, if you yeah. want to join us. We'll wait. Hey guys. Hello. Sorry, How we're late. <laughs> Hi, Kylie. Hi, guys. You look beautiful. Doesn't tonight. she look gorgeous? You are a superstar. Kylie and I had a little bonding day today. Kylie's a really strong little girl. She's our little angel. We couldn't ask for anything better. But at the same time, Kylie's not going to roll over and play dead for anybody. Kylie. That is so gross. You just drenched it in butter. She's Don't dressed like a 30-year-old and, and eating like an 11-year-old. Not appropriate. Kylie should not be dressed like that. You're dressed like a 30-year-old. 13 and going I don't on 30. Like it. Nope. You've got to deal nope. with your kids growing older. No, she's 11 years old, and she shouldn't be wearing all that makeup, and she shouldn't be wearing that outfit. And that's the bottom line. It's over. It's done. My friend Dylan likes the way I dress. Everybody's jumping on me like it's my problem. It's not my problem. It's Kylie's problem. She's got too much makeup on. How old is Courtney when she got a boob job? Mom, how old were you when you got a boob job? Kylie, we're leaving. 
I'm you done. just started eating. No, I'm done. I'm come on, come on. Come on, you're going to make a scene. No, I'm not making a scene. Not only is she wearing all this makeup, but all of a sudden her attitude is changing too. That's not good. Right now, let's go. I don't care what everybody else is saying. I'm going to do it the right way. I'm going to get her out of here. Chloe, let her out. Come on, we're out of here. Kylie, what are you doing in here? Honey, it's time to get up. Dad hates me. What do you mean, Dad hates you? He grounded me. Daddy doesn't hate you, Kylie. Daddy just wants you to grow up to be a perfectly fabulous young lady. And he thinks that perfectly fabulous young ladies don't wear makeup to school. Would it make you feel better if I talked to Daddy? Yeah? OK. I love you. Don't be sad. I still get to kiss you even though you're growing up. Business cards. Oh! What did they all spell? No. Okay. Kylie! Oh uh, my god. Here I we mean, who gives you business cards like this? <laughs> I don't know whose are those, mine or yours? Yours. Did you clean up all the cards? Or no? No. Kylie, clean them up. Don't They're like stuck in between the little. No. Kylie. I don't want my card to be full. I don't want my card to be full of cards. I'm excited for this, actually. I don't want to talk to people. That's just embarrassing, going up to people and being like, Hi, we think you're... Okay, it's not embarrassing at all, but... Mm -hmm. You do me, I do you. I wouldn't know what to say. I wouldn't know what to do. What are you going to say to the person when you go up to them? What I'm going to say, do you want to be a model? I'll make you a model. And that's it. Done. But not Peach. even that. You can't get them too excited. You can't be like, do you want to be a model? Like, for... I'll find you with an agency. Like, it's not like that. Oh, Brandon! What is this? Um, it's my keys. Oh, there they are. Yeah, it's my little puff. Let me see. Oh, that's cool. Does it make me. Oh. Oh. Who knew we had a face? You didn't know no it had a face? Way. I thought it was just like like this. No, but he a has face. a face. He has a face. Oh, oh hey! hey. What the hell oh. are you guys doing here? Just come to see you. Uh, what are we watching? This is not, you guys don't just come and see me for what, you, what you guys want. All of us. You guys need money? Dad wanted us to talk oh. to you because oh. of oh. you Maybe. flaking out on him. Good. For golf practice. That's why, is he really upset about that? Uh, yeah, he's upset. Oh, well, tell him not to worry. I think Dad gets a little bit more sensitive because... Than I do, at least. It's like, if you don't show up, I don't really care as much. And I try to tell Dad it's not that big of a deal. It's like, you know, it's just practice. But he gets really upset. He feels like if, he, if you make a plan, that you should... I mean, I that. agree with that. And I, yeah, I'll talk to him about that. I didn't know he was going to be... It was just a practice session. It's not like I was actually missing the tournament. It was just a practice. So I understand that he's very upset about that. But... Well, he takes... He, he, needs, to take it, he needs to take it a notch down. He also takes golf very seriously. No, I understand that. Just like everything else, you know. So Well, I I play golf for fun. And I was busy that day and I'm sorry that I missed that, but I will call I will talk to him and I'll smooth it out. It's not that big of a deal. I think you just need to clear it up with him and you made a mistake. We're, I'm playing the tournament. It's just, you know, I did I didn't make a practice. I will, you know, I'll let him know. What is that? You just all of a sudden you're over him like that? Don't hurt no, his feelings to... like this. He I got hair on hurt? my leggings. No. Are you, are you hurt by that? I have an appointment. Excuse me. I have me. a spray no. tan right now Excuse at me. my house. Excuse me, Kylie, this is, this is brother. You don't just come over and surprise me and then leave in five, like I five minutes later. I would say if my spray tan was at seven. Wait, wait, wait. wait. wait I thought it was you at hear seven. what she's trying to pull here? You're getting a He's spray tan at, at, her her. Her. at, at her. my her. house Bite right her. now. Ooh. I'm really pale. Like, it's an issue. Life goes on. <laughs> okay, Corey. Yeah. Hold on. Okay, Kylie. What? You're both on the phone. So Kylie, tell us what's going on. And they said there's motion detectors breaking, glass breaking all in the master bedroom. Corey's on his way. I'm over here. Not that far. Do you want me? You want to do something They're not going to do anything to your dogs. So just calm down. We're going to take care of it. Oh, Kylie, honey, it's going to be OK. OK, we'll call you in a few minutes. Okay, so Corey, for real, where are you? I'm rushing down to 101. I'm 14 minutes away tops. Okay, well, don't you think it would be a lot quicker if I just went over there now? I no. can run over there right now, and I'll be there in three minutes. No. You can't even protect.
protect yourself. Let me deal with it. Listen, she's I safe. said to you, listen, listen, she's not safe. She is not home. It's been issues with the alarm system, but just in case it's not, if you stay at home safely, because I'm the one that know how to defend myself, you do not, so let me handle it. I think what you don't understand is these are my kids, and I'm the only one here in this neighborhood. So if you're really not three or four minutes away, then I'm leaving now. You're not even thinking logically, so just chill out. Don't tell me to chill out. You can't tell somebody when they're having a panic attack to chill out. Calm down. So if you're not there in a couple minutes, then I'm just leaving. Hey, you look kidding. amazing. You look I'm insane. still white. Your belly button is back to normal. Me too. Hey, you look amazing. Thank you. 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 Th
studying for finals. I haven't seen you in like two weeks. I've been in school and with my, I got a girlfriend now. Wait, you're like official, exclusive and official. When did that happen? I'm very hesitant to bring Adrian around my three sisters. My sisters, they tend to get too involved in my relationships. You guys are dress. coming with Robert. Me. We are the people that approve or deny. <laughs> Why are you guys here? You guys just made this so weird. Wait, you're like... Official. Exclusive and official? When did that happen? Do you call each other your girlfriend, boyfriend? Yeah. Are you guys in love? Wait, you're in love? Guys, I got a tattoo Rob. to prove it. You did not get a tattoo. I'll show you. Robert! Rob! It's enormous. No one's gonna see this. You never take your shirt off. All you do is take your shirt off. You walk around in Calvin Klein's and no shirts all the time. We're like all in shock. Like, is this a joke or something? Our full name is tattooed on him. And we are just like, what are you doing? You're just jealous because I'm in love. Whatever. <laughs> Does she hurry. have one too? Yeah. So since we don't know Adrian, we decide to get to know her whether Rob likes it or not. I'm gonna go use the restroom. Pass me one. What are you doing? Let's get Adrian's number. You don't even know her. You're gonna ruin it with him. Why are you gonna call her? I just yeah, wanna get you to, to know the her. If he's not introducing us, we need to get to know her ourselves. He's not introducing us. Because I don't know Adrian, I'm just scared that she will hurt him. And like, that would just be devastating to all of us. Courtney, you're crazy. Oh my God, I love it. Hello. What are you doing? The jacket? You what look like... do you mean? Is this odd? Yes, this is random. Random? What's that? <coughs> Ew. You went to England, came back with an accent, so will I. Say cheeky. Cheeky? Yeah. Are you cheeky? <laughs> I only like flash, please. You want the flash on? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's much better. Send this to me. I will. How cute. Do blondes have more fun? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I swear it Do you like it? I like it a lot. Robbie. <laughs>I have total nipple action. I told Lamar about our therapy session. I figured you did. Why? Because he texted me and said, is everything OK or something? Did you ever reply to Kim in her email? No. Kim sent my mom, Court, Rob, and I an apology email for the therapy. Rob, I'm sorry if we haven't helped you enough. Chloe, you're right make it more about family than business because that's all we have. So Robbie, let's all sit down and talk about what's your next move and we will pitch in. Chloe, I'm sorry if I invalidate you and your memories. <laughs> you know, the email is just not very sincere in my opinion. It's like she kind of just, I feel like, doesn't want to deal with this anymore and just wants to move on. I never responded. I never responded either. She obviously felt really guilty, which is why she emailed us. If you were really like, saying something from the heart, you would say it to them personally and not give a f about what everyone else thinks. Right. When we were getting along really well for a minute. It's sad that it can't last long. So I was trying to do therapy thinking it would like make everyone happy, but I feel like it kind of backfired. <laughs> Bernard, come here. Come here, Bernard. Bernard. Hang out with us. Come on. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh. I love this dog, dude. He loves this. A little punk. I flaked on Greece. You don't think I don't know what you be doing? I just was, I was like not feeling myself, like gaining a bunch of weight, like. It's just frustrating to me that like, I'm not happy going out if I'm not in good shape, you know what I mean? Within the next six months, if I don't get some this together, then I won't want to like, hang around everybody, you know what I'm saying? And I want to, so my mom doesn't cry and think something 
bigger is going on when really it's very simple. I let this go and I need to get it back together that's, and that's you know it. You know what though, it's alright if it's something bigger. I'm not like depressed, but being depressed is not being wrong. Cause that happens. But if you don't take care of yourself, you hurt your relationships no matter what. I've been there where you're just not acting the same, not looking right. a certain way. All this ties in. I came out of it by doing it for myself. Mm -hmm. Like I couldn't do it for a clothes. I couldn't do it for the name on the back of my jersey. Right. I had to do it for like just Lamar. Rob, you know, I realized how much he's been through. And as a man, seeing that, I kind of wanted to help. You know, I think it's time for Rob to regain his confidence about himself, about what he's doing, about where he's going. Whatever he needs from me, I'll give it to him. But I just want to see him happy. I don't want to see him laying here, you know, on the couch for days. I just can't stand the whole the females doing their worry stuff. It's like... When you a man, baby, you're the last Mohican. No, you're yeah. Robert Kardashian. Like, what do you expect? Obviously know what happened just based on whatever social media. social media. But everything that happened, I'm very happy about. It was something that I so would. So like, did you get on like one knee? <laughs> I gave her the ring and then I got on the knee after. It happened like spontaneously. So that's why you guys weren't in the loop because I was going to do this regardless. I just didn't know when and it just ended up happening. We want to be honest with you. We felt like we should have just at least got a text and say, hey guys, I know you're seeing this on social media. It's true. People were asking us and we were like, we don't even know if it's true. If you guys really were concerned and wanted to know, you guys would have said, is this true? No, we Congratulations, like you just got engaged. Out. Obviously, well, you think I'm just going to post some fake because I'm a Why media would I whore, say never in my life. If I don't know if it's true. It's the or not. first time I ever proposed to someone in my life. Why would I joke with that? I don't joke with that. We understand. It's you a two-way street. Didn't... You guys could easily have picked up the phone and called me. No, I'm not going to talk to you guys when you guys are in a room with Tyga and on a ski trip. But yeah, family you put it on social media. It's not the point. You act like I'm supposed to just call you guys and just say, oh, this and that when we you hate this girl. That. So it's like, but we love you. It's crazy. That's great. And, so we and she makes me happy that. and she and loves me and I'm you. happy. So and that's we, it. Of course we would be happy for you. But we're allowed to be hurt that you didn't tell okay, us, but we're also but you're that's allowed why, to do it in just, your own way. We see that you're happy and that's all that matters to us, really. Like, we obviously have tried to get you out of the house for years, you know, and that hasn't worked. And so if it someone just, else yeah. can do that, like, we are really, you know, thankful for that. Do you understand that that was hurtful to us that we found out about your yeah, engagement on social media? Yes, I understand. I think we just but want I didn't that understand. I didn't. I wasn't even thinking that at the time. It happened so fast. I get I upset you guys. I get I'm your brother, only brother. You would like to know when something important like this happens. I apologized because I wasn't trying to be rude. So. What are you smiling for? Because it's my license picture that I didn't want. I want to see. That I, that I wore see. a hat, so I'm like... <laughs> so Why'd you bad. wear a hat? Because I just wanted to get it over with. No, but you know you can't wear a hat in your picture. No, I know. I just didn't care because I'm going to go back there and retake the picture when I'm feeling, when I'm Spiffy. feeling better. Oh, my... Oh, you got to get out of here. What? <laughs> Kimberly? What? what? Are, how much are you? I know the neighbor did kind of look at me like you literally look like Rob. Yeah, I did they probably like think like Rob for paid for you. Second. Like Kim, I literally just dropped my jaw when I saw you from. <laughs> wow. Chill out. It wasn't a bad wow. Anyway, what's going on? How's everything on the home front? I mean, it's been tough. It's really just, it takes either one person to man up. Obviously, that's going to have to be me. But at the same time, I'm not going to argue with a female. We had a good talk the other night, so we'll see. I'm the one who said arguments are normal. It's going to happen. Okay, but at that but I, second it happened, I took it seriously, and I took it and to that's, heart. Because you're like, sensitive. Right, I don't even, I don't know. You have to worry about Rob and how you could be strong and better for you and now your baby. Yeah, I'm, well, I'm fine. Don't you want to get your I together? do. My plan is not to have a kid with somebody and not be with the person. That's just bizarre to me. I know Rob and China have a long way to go, but I'm really happy that they are working things out. Relationships are hard no matter what. And 
As long as Rob is trying and starts really engaging and communicating, that's all I could ask for, but he has to figure it out, and this is like baby steps to his life. Rob and China are fighting again. What's the fighting about? I don't know, I mean are like- Intense? She texts some crazy things, he texts her crazy things all night long. He just doesn't want to go to the shower. We have the shower plan for tomorrow for Rob and China, but now they get into this big fight and we don't know what's going on. He said that he doesn't want to celebrate a shower because this pregnancy has been really bad for him and really awful for him. You guys, mm -hmm. our brother's coming to the shower. That's crazy. So what do we do? I don't know. I feel like we should try to get him to come for mom. If it's for nobody else, it should be for her. She does so much for him. We just really want to do this for Rob, especially my mom. She's so excited to give him presents and just like really like celebrate him. So I think she's definitely not going to take it well if he doesn't show up. All right, these don't these don't fit. I can't even button them. I'm just telling. I'm just saying. So okay, I'm not saying. I have another option. It does not fit. I have a lot of different jeans. Like, you yeah. can try 20 pairs of jeans on to find one that you like. I mean, everything could be tailored. I mean, everything. I don't know. I do not want to go to Cannes, anyways. Even when I was in the best shape of my entire life, I still had like an insecurity with my weight. <sighs> on top of that, there's paparazzi people who follow me and get pictures of me, and that shuts me down to like not wanting to go out when I'm obviously not feeling my best. I'm not comfortable in my skin. I'm not comfortable with this weight, so I feel like I'm not happy with anything I do right now. I won't wear a suit probably for at least six months. So. Okay, so you feel like suits, yeah. even in can, I'll never for wear any a suit. kind of meeting, even a linen? No, I'll only wear a suit on New Year's, this coming New Year's. Yeah. Okay, just seems like the point of this was to try and break you out a little it's, bit. It's not you, I just won't be happy, period. So it's just, that's just how I am. What are you most excited to see, though? These are all like good friends, but JJ's like family. Is JJ black? No. Oh. You're not gonna see it. <laughs> you're not gonna see it. You're not gonna see any black people. No black people. I'm all the black you need. These are my white friends. Yay! Come on, let's go downstairs. Come on, boom, boom. Hi, guys. Oh. Hi. Oh. Hey, Bobby. Hi, Hi Scott. Are you oh. excited? It's all going to be your life soon. <laughs> I'm honestly a little surprised he actually showed up for this barbecue. I couldn't be happier, and I know that it's going to be good for him. Every time I see JJ, he'll show me, like, yeah. the massive amounts of texts that he'll send you that have never been replied, and he's like, I keep trying. Maybe. Ooh. Should I get it? get it? You can go get it. Yeah. When the doorbell rings, it's just, like, kind of, I don't know. I just feel like I, I just, I just get real uncomfortable. I can't explain it. It's just how I am.